love my lab early in the morning. I feel a great sense of inspiration. Anything is possible that day. Something great can happen. This is exclusive research. In our lab, our approach of using nanotechnology to target diseases of the central nervous system is very unique and synergistic to Wayne State. Our goal is to improve the quality of lives of people suffering from diseases such as macular degeneration, cerebral palsy, and autism, and to do this with minimal side effects. This research means that someone you know or someone you love may be cured from diseases that are currently thought incurable. I am inspired by the fact that something that was once thought impossible is actually possible. It's very exciting and rewarding to get big results working on such extremely tiny lens scales with pinpoint accuracy. Reading is critical to everything that you do in life. Maybe tomorrow I'll bake the little critters a hundred scrumptious cookies. I am investigating reading processes, specifically the reading processes of young children, and we're using a tool called eye tracking to do that. With eye tracking, we can watch students' eye movements as they're reading a text. So that allows us to view the process by getting information about what they're looking at. It's cutting edge because of the use of eye tracking and the way we're using eye tracking. It's also cutting edge because not many people are doing it. We've begun to identify some things that other people haven't identified. We hope to come to a better understanding of reading process what people do when they read, and specifically what young children do when they read. Overall, the end result will be improved reading instruction, which means more effective readers. Living in the center of the world's largest freshwater resource, it's important we're good stewards of it. What we're doing has the potential to improve the overall health of our water supply. We hope to reduce the amount of energy that's used in sending water into people's homes. By doing that, we're going to cut down on air pollution and we're going to improve the health of our Great Lakes. This research doesn't just stay in the lab. It affects all of us. We all use water. It's a health issue and a smart business proposal. We have the most sought after freshwater resource in the world. The health and safety of this resource and the people who use it is always on our mind. Epilepsy is one of the least understood diseases and the most complicated organ, the brain. It affects over 70 million people worldwide. We've set our sights high to come up with a cure for epilepsy. We're exploring the human brain in terms of its genes and proteins and small molecules. And we're starting out with human brain tissue, which is an invaluable resource that we get from our patients that they donate from their epilepsy surgeries. We then turn these tissues into data sets that allow us to hone in on key pathways that may be abnormal in the epileptic tissue that then allows us to find a magic bullet or a drug to come in and cure this disease. Wayne State, uh, as far as I know, is the only place that has such a database that incorporates things from the three-dimensional brain structure, the electrical activity, down to the genes and the proteins and the small molecules. We do share with key collaborators around the country and around the world to work together to try to find cures for the disease. I mean, it's really about the patients. We're doing this for the people that suffer from this disease. And I can't think of any better satisfaction in my career is to come up with something that can actually translate back to people that I take care of and improve their quality of life. We're on a path to curing a life-altering disease. And I'm proud that it's happening here at Wayne State University.